There, last week. Uh, these two kits, and possibly this third one, which is from was from the last year, and we didn't know whether you would be able to find it. No, no. you could. Is it? Yeah. It was not sorted. The botanical remains were not sorted. But did you actually find the uh, the bags with sample bags? Or? No, because they're in the states. Are mm -hmm. oh, they all in the states? But some of the heavy residue is still here, so I haven't tried to grab the bags. Cool. Um, so, <laughs> 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 onward. <laughs> this is great having your sample some in here, some in the states, some in England, some yes. somewhere in between, and then. Uh, that's great. So much for our organization. Um, okay, so let's talk. Shall we talk first about the big cut that we have here? 8120. 8120. Where is Ragnar? Ragnar? Is, was this 8120? Do you remember? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. 8120. It's okay. Well, 
Do you have anything yes. for ethnography, from ethnography? Yes, but I think uh, for killing fuel and, and then again cooking uh, since yeah. this land yeah. because from yeah. the sample that I did, uh, uh -huh. because it doesn't seem like what food, food is being brought. Because food was in very good condition, uh -huh. but the uh, cereal was very burnt. Cereals were very burnt, but wood was not. So, what does it look like now? If they can eat you, then it would mean that food must be very much better. So, it must be a separate fire. Uh -huh, separate fire. Uh, So would that look like uh, those that were in the fire remain in cooking activity at all? Or Not really. Just hard really. Hard. No human bones in it now. <laughs> um, it's just curious. Okay, let's look at the other patent and then talk some more about what they could have used them for. something similar to rakeout that we usually find on the floors around the ovens, right? We don't find it buried in the cups like this, in the pit. And uh, it could be that, that, that just before they decided to renovate the floor in the kitchen, they uh, knew that they would soon be re renovating the floor and then they decided to go for making a cuts in the floor and stuffing them with this. But why would they do that? I, that wouldn't be practical in terms of making a hard floor surface underneath your new floor. Could it be that they use them for heating up something or keeping some foods at very low temperatures? It was also 
Yeah, it's very close to the oven, yeah. Very, very close. I mean, to any of these <coughs> ovens, even if it was in use with this one. We don't, we don't know exactly. The, obviously, this one was not used at the same time when this fire installation was in use because they, it cuts it. And uh, because the floor here was uh, dug before the midden was deposited in, in prehistory, they cut, uh, truncated the floor to some extent here. So the floor that we arrived on where we expected is about at this level. It was a slightly, slightly higher. So we don't know if this was used, this could, this fire installation could have been used with either of these. But this one could have been used with, uh, at the same time with this one and that one. But that's all close. In the south, I guess it's actually We found a few kind of in the center of the room where they had hearts. They had some small pits, but they were filled with these kind of on fire play balls. And I remember the feeling that there wasn't very much, but it was somewhat thick. And I remember thinking, well, that's probably what they were using. Because they were probably using a lot of balls. They could have been storing something like that, like play balls yeah. there, and they just... Yeah, that's how we found them, we found the other ones. Yeah, yeah, these are these are the ones that Sonia is talking about, which are right here in the middle, in the center of the house. Uh, and they, some of them had uh, uh, real stones on the edge, remember? You excavated that one. It was uh, aligned with a layer of stones, and it, it looked as uh, a little heating unit for heating the floor or heating the food. Um, yeah, those were different. No, no, I'm saying this was in the south, in the south area. Oh, in the south area. They had yeah, cars. Uh -huh. Right, or, or, you know, I'm pretty sure they were all cars. There weren't ovens. So. Uh -huh. But still, they had small pits that had just been dug out, not lined or anything, just pits. Next to, in the vicinity. Right, right near the heart. And then we actually found unfired clay balls and fragments and lumps that had fallen apart, and they'd been storing them in there. Uh -huh. Yeah, so, yeah. Yeah, so we can talk about these pits being storage of some sort in relation to the fire installation, which, yeah, which is what we all more or less are assuming. But there is nothing that really gives us more evidence in that direction. Okay, well, well that, those are where the individual, nothing goes in the basket. The basket was found inside the area of the big bear. The sample is a high density. Mm -hmm. Mostly wood. And there's lots of cereal. Some of them very good conditions and hot. Mm -hmm. Some of them fragments. Mm -hmm. uh, chaff is not a cereal. Ah, so it was called cereal and chaff. Cereal yeah. and, chaff. Yeah. and in good condition, mm -hmm. many cold mm -hmm. grains and stuff. Mm -hmm. And some pulses, uh, pulses? pulses are mostly lentils. Yeah. lentils. Mm -hmm. There is a few pieces, not chaff, but broken, not identical. Oh, oh, what? Nutshell. Oh, nutshell. Okay. And white seeds has a many variety, mm -hmm. uh, but they are in less amount. But that's different kind of seeds. Other seeds which are non cereal seeds? White, mostly uh, white, white seeds. Uh -huh. White. Uh -huh. And there are lots of mouse tooth and fragments. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, that was after the basket was put in. You never know. <laughs> <laughs> so what does it look like? Do you it so,
call series C in the Yes. Yeah. 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 So mine's the just menu. So it's similar to the surrounding menu. Yeah. I don't like it. No, well, it'd be nice to have a little basket with a collection of different foods that mm -hmm. we put in the burial alongside with the buried person, which I somehow think that was the case. Why would they deposit a bas empty basket next to this buried person? So the, 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 the thing is, the food is charred, and so the basket wasn't. Ah, the food is charred in the basket with the spiderlets, so it's not. That's right. Mm. So what was there in the basket originally? Before the meeting stuff got in. <laughs> mice. Mice. <laughs> Sacrificing mice. How about, yeah. Yeah, mice. <laughs> How about those, uh, the stones, the fragments of the uh, lapis lazuli? Uh, mm -hmm. and then, mm -hmm. What about that? Oh, yeah. Did he find any more? Here, that, you know, So it seems that they put in an empty basket. Mm -hmm. Is that possible? Did you have any beautiful pieces of bone? You haven't seen that. Well, you can see it when you get down. A thousand pictures. It was we later on decided to declare it a, a priority. Once we, after the priority tour, we discovered the basket was complete and it was filled. And then in the lab we decided to take the fill out and. Uh, float it and, and make it real and sound. Obviously, you need to watch that you about it, but you can take a look at it. The mice are soft. Mice are soft. Yeah, it's it's a, a, it yeah. might be some other animal. Yeah, why don't you take a look and then we can talk about it. I don't do microphone. Oh, you don't do microphone. Right? And then it does it. Oh, well, that's right. But they still could have put this stuff into the basket, even though someone took them in. Yeah, but it's all charred. Well, they could have cooked foods, put cooked variety of cooked foods in. And not. I mean, not using it. Could have put them in the basket. Yeah, it's not Okay, one first. 
Yes. Um, A1 plus R. Okay. You will be able to compare it with uh, 6693 because I bought it. Mm -hmm. And now it's deeper mm -hmm. and it's closer to medium deposit. Mm -hmm. And when it goes closer to medium deposit, uh, nothing changes much. Mm -hmm. But less herbaceous matter coming from weeds. Mm -hmm. But still, uh, some weed pieces again, large pieces. Some serious, some mm -hmm. chaff. Mm -hmm. But this time, the chaff is more than serious. Mm -hmm. Big cereal pieces. Mm -hmm. um, less than half of them are as old as uh, in good condition. Mm -hmm. And more than half is in bad condition and really okay? mm -hmm. And uh, some seeds, uh, and which are coming from leaves actually. Mm -hmm. And in 6693, I didn't find any leaves seeds. This time I found leaves seeds. Okay, which is interesting. But this was a description of 8136, not 8136. Did you, uh, did you look at that? 6693, which is the main That's the main fill. Thank you. 
Remember, guys, we had the mini balls here in this feature. Now the mini balls have been removed, and you can see the spots, the remains of the packing clay on which the mini balls were sitting. So there was a layer, of nice, nice layer of packing clay, and and it was wet. Some things, and I would agree with that. Uh, when they were building the feature, they would they put the wet clay, and then in it they set the balls, and then they pressed with a layer of plaster from on top most likely, and because they were pressed in, they made this little uh, honeycomb type of um, situation. So that, that was stripped off that layer of clay, and if we want to make that a priority for you to see if there is anything in it, if, if it is just typical packing material, or there is more than that, basically, in it. And the unit number for the 8164 or is it no. 8171 is the package. 8171. What is the 8164 is then the balls themselves? Well, that was the balls themselves were that cluster, and then the stuff that was surrounding the balls, the kind of matrix that they were sitting in was 8164. Okay, so we should take both. 8164 and 8171. That is our feature 758. The mini clay ball feature next to the oven. Is seven one of the actual No. Seven five eight is this cool thing, and then and then it was taken the the this the clay balls themselves were eight one six four. Eight one. Those are the ball, yeah. That that was the balls, and then the kind of clayish packing the matrix that was around them. Okay, so you're you're sending that as a sample to them, or that went down as quotation. There should have been that's a quotation. Small, small quotation. Small and then eight one six four. And eight one seven one is the continuation. It's this packing. It's the layer below the uh, the previous unit. Yeah, the really should be very similar. They are, yeah, it's the mix-up, they're the mix-up, they're just taken in two different units, but they're probably going to be the same kind of deposit. But then we will see, we might be surprised. Um, so that's one priority, and then, and then, 
how about making this feel a priority moment? So Dragana, you need to help me, this one. And another, did you want to compare that with that bottom of pit over there? Bottom of pit being, oh, bottom that pit. pit and the bottom right. of car. Right. A142. Oh, that one, okay, that's right, that's good. Yeah, yeah, so we'll have this fire installation and then we'll have that cut up in the north and then we'll have the top, oh, we can't have it because it was not separated. Okay, so we'll do this and that cut. The cut is this cut. This cut, which is unusual, and it contains a lot of burnt deposit. It seems like redeposited oven or a large car remains. And the unit is A142. And what you will be looking at is the fill of that car, basically. It hasn't been emptied completely for the, the various reasons, but we have taken a large amount of it out, and we just wanted to see what it is. It's very sort of unusual deposit. It has a lot of organic material and a lot of structural mm -hmm. material, and it, um, it seems to be coming from a fire installation that we don't have traces of in our building. Um, it might come up across an old, uh, an early oven in that area, so we are puzzled by it, so. Okay, so at the moment we are looking at the, for the, for the unit number for the fire installation. Presumably, presumably this fire installation was used at the same time when the top of the platform was. And uh, it could have something to do with uh, the deposits in these pits, if you have looked at them. So maybe we'll see. 8160. 8160. 60. Okay. 60. Was not that opening up on, on the oven? Yeah. Well, that was a later, later stage. We had other ovens here. But at this, at this point, this stuff, this is a continuous floor. Was that ah, down this corner here? This corner? The left. That's the leftover from the earlier edge of the platform. The, in the early stage, the platform edge went like that. Mm -hmm. And then later on it was cut in. So that was and this was built in. in. And then on top of that, many other parts were built in, yeah. in the later stages. And at the end, they incorporated all of that into one nice uh, platform. They covered it with a white floor. And we thought it was a, we didn't have the slightest idea that we had all these fire installations in here. Mm -hmm. So we want to see the fire installation itself, or is it still? 8160? 8160. It's the fill on the floor, baked floor of this fire. It's the, the fill immediately on top of the baked floor. And then once we remove the baked floor of the fire installation, we'll make that a priority unit, so then we can prepare all of it. So this is the stuff that was sitting in here, inside. And there is a lot of... Uh, uh, building material type of fill, but there could be a lot of organic stuff that were stuck on it. So, and then we'll, we'll take off this black floor, and this looks like nice floor for you guys to look at. Okay, so that's yeah. that. Somebody had something on A136, since we have Melbourne and Alan here. Um, there was a lot of charcoal in the thoracic area of um, the skeleton, A115, uh -huh. and when they were floating it, they noticed that there was this, we didn't take it separately, but we know that, you know, as the excavators, that's where it came from, there was a very high concentration of charcoal that appeared to be different from the midden. Uh-huh. That's that soft ashy stuff. The soft ashy stuff. Yeah. And uh, 
Yeah. We had it also under the pelvis of the other one, but we really noticed it when they came in from the flow that it's very heavy charcoal uh, material that was coming out of the thoracic region. So was that was that in the fill? Did that count as being in the fill? Yeah, we took it as a single sample that with the, all of the units surrounding right. it instead of just the thoracic, which you know in hindsight is what we should have done. But uh, we know that as the excavators, that's where it was actually coming from. But it was a very high concentration of charcoal that seemed different from the, uh, the midden that was surrounding it in terms of the concentration. Where's it coming? Um, okay. So, yeah. yeah. So, wh when we continue excavating the third burial, this burial, we'll make that priority also so we can compare that to that. Mm -hmm. So, um, okay. So, then, did you say did you say what kind of wood that could have been? You couldn't say that, right? I can. Eleni can, you think? From that powdery stuff? Powdery? Not from the powdery stuff, but yeah. from the wood yeah. material. Ah. So okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, okay, let's, let's uh, uh, keep that open and then uh, let's find out. Yeah, yeah. Uh, she should come in there. Yes, yeah, we've already talked about it, but they didn't talk about the charcoal, so I don't want to mention it. So, Michael. I can't do anything with that. You can't do anything because we, all of them are being here. Hmm? Because of them. I have to read the read, 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 thing because I have to ask you that question. So. Okay, well, we are now yeah. all done now. Yeah. Any questions or any concerns? We're done. Ask yeah, questions. Yeah. Someone claim these shoe prints. Oh, my. They're blue. Cool. The shoe print. Nice. The black one. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. The very yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Cool. Yeah. 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 I tricked you into Thank you very much. <laughs> Oh, it's not up to me, very fast on the one that would